So it's been my understanding that Cam Newton has been putting on uh, seven V7 camps for a long time now. And for a long time now, he's been getting disrespected by the people he's invited to the camps. I admit he's got to be a better man than me because uh, you got one time, one time, especially if I brought you here. I ain't playing. I ain't playing at all. But 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 real talk, were these jits or were these college jits? You know what I'm saying? Like, who who were these people? And what were they thinking? If you was trying to earn some stripes or some or some clout or something like that, you should have chose a better way. And you damn sure should have came at this man in a way better fashion than you did. You got to be way more organized and way more coordinated than that if you're trying to take down Cam Newton. I mean, come on, bro. He faced defensive coordinators for a living. You know, people that get paid to legally conspire to stop you. He faces those people on the regular. So uh, a, a few rogue teenagers or just, you know, overdeveloped children, that's that's not going to get it. That's not going to cut it. I mean, come on, man. He's defeated people who put actual game plans together. You know, real game plans. Not just, are you ready, bro? Shit, I'm ready, bro. Let's get it. You, you feel me? Way better strategically planned game plans that nigga, when you see me swing, bro, you just you 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 jump in, bro. You 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 just jump right on in, bro. Way better plans than that. So if that was what you was thinking was going, you know, get you the victory, you were sadly sadly mistaken. Y'all do remember this is the man who whooped somebody's ass with a smile on his face while he was doing it. Are you ready, bro? Shit, I'm ready, bro. Let's get it. Now, tell me what's going on here. They say Charleston White done shot a bitch. Yep, they say he was at the ATM, and he had to put that fire on the motherfucker. Now, I don't know if this was a movie scene or, you know, some kind of ghetto movie, or is this the real-life version of the movie starring Charleston White. I just, I, somebody tell me. Because, I mean, I don't know if this is real or not. A dude ran up on him and said, hey, we got his ass now, we got his ass now. And then he tried to, you know, tussle with him. They both went there kind of like, you know, jogging off to the side. and But it fell, and as he fell, Charleston White just went on and took aim and pow. One real quick one like that, you know. I'm like, oh, damn. I said, shit, is that real? Because when Buddy kind of pulled, walked up on him, he already kind of pulled it out a little bit when they started, you know what I'm saying, talking about, yeah, we got it now. You know what I'm saying? You could see him pull it, pull it, pull it out. He, you know, he reached for it, he grabbed it. And when Buddy went down, he stayed down. So somebody tell me what happened. I know I'm supposed to tell you, but, you know, I, I still don't know if this real or not. They say Charleston White done shot a bitch. Yep. So, at this point, I'm starting to be convinced that these rappers love jail more than they love freedom. Or at least they love drama. I mean, I don't understand why you can't just sit down somewhere. You see what Kodak Black is up to now. They say he got out of jail. And, you know, his people was a little late picking him up, and he got into it with some reporters. And he ended up, you know, trying to do his Dan Marino, his John Elway, his best Brett Favre. And he was chunking rocks like he was still in the hood. I guess he looked at that reporter, and he had a flashback. He just saw a project window. He just wanted to slay that rock. Who took this picture? And how many of them people was around? None of y'all had a flash? Why does this picture look like it belongs in the Lord of the Rings? He looks like he's some kind of a shadow demon 
ducking down like he about to cast a spell on somebody or something. I, I'm just saying, bro. And where was his people at? Y'all know this man was getting out. I bet they were somewhere rolling up the blunts. You know what I'm saying? You know, when, when people get out, you got to have some blunts ready. I know they say you can't smoke, but but you know people that be on paper still be smoking, right? Yep. It, it, it happens. That's why they go back to jail. So I know they probably was someone trying to roll them up, find the you know, find the right perks or something, and they was late picking them up, and now, bam, got a whole other incident. Who took this picture? And how many of them people was around? None of y'all had a flash? All right, so usually people talk shit about, you know, delivery people, UPS guys, the mail people, DHL, you know, FedEx. And we usually talk shit about how they don't care about your product. They don't care about your your package. They slay that shit wherever the hell they want to. Today, I want to give some applause I want to give some credit where credit is due. Look, when he dropped off this package, he did everything in his power to make sure nobody could see it was a big ass package behind the trash cans. Instead of him just dropping off this big old box in front of your house so everybody can see what you got and they can just pick it up and walk away with it. He hid it. He put it behind the trash cans. He threw a little a, a little debris on top of it. He made sure it was camouflaged and disguised just enough so that the knuckleheads in your neighborhood don't come fuck up your day. Mm-hmm. When you got that confirmation, you know that, that that tracking that we that we do nowadays. When you got that text, that email, or that phone call, and you said yes, my package is is, is there. Yeah. And then you get home and you don't see nothing. You don't have to worry about that when this dude drop it off. Because he going to make sure it's there for you when you get home. I just want to give him his kudos, man. I want to give him his credit, give him his flowers. You feel me? Because everybody don't do this. Nah. I was working one day and we saw this dude from, you know, one of them places like, like this right here. Dropped off a nice big size package. Around Christmas time. Just left it right there in front of the door. You know who saw it first? The children. The ones who were not supposed to see it. Now I know this is not a theft. But damn. When we saw that mama running to the door. But she had some panic in her eyes. She knew. Ah the surprise is ruined. This stupid ass delivery man. Instead of him just dropping off this big old box in front of your house so everybody can see what you got and they can just pick it up and walk away with it. He hid it. 